Hey Chickies, okay today we are doing clouds. Now this was inspired by Gabby from Gabby's Nail Art on Instagram and she was inspired by Sonia from Bad Girl Nails on Instagram. So let's get into it. I really hope you like it. It's kind of cute. Now you're going to think I'm crazy. Someone a couple of weeks ago asked me on Instagram if I could do a gradient without a makeup sponge with some sort of household item. So the only thing I could think of was maybe a kitchen sponge and I thought well we've never given it a go before I could probably give it a go so I went and bought some brand new kitchen sponges these are not you read they're not being reused from my kitchen so and just cut them very you know kind of the same shape as as one of my makeup sponges I painted all of my nails white with OPI's put a coat on and then added a coat of sesh feet over all of that the colors that we're using for the gradient are from Lime Crimes Neon Collection and uh, all the details about those will be in the description box as per usual. So we're going to go ahead and try and use a kitchen sponge initially. You'll see how it works out. So paint the polish on the sponge like you would normally with any gradient in the you know order that you want to put them on your nail. Bearing in mind that these sponges have very big holes and so you're going to have to use a lot of polish to fill those holes up. Then, dab that puppy on your nail and see how you go. You'll see how I went in a second. Not very good. Oh, did I let the cat out of the bag? Okay, I didn't really want to do it. Okay, so dabbing, dab, 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 dab. Ugh, <laughs> that does not look good. <laughs> dab, 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 dab. Hopefully I can fix it. Nope, still not fixed. That's terrible. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Look at all that polish, ugh, all around, around my cuticles, around the sides of my nails. Not good, not good at all. Needless to say, I went back to my makeup sponge. Didn't film that, I thought I did, but anyway, you've seen me do a gradient a bunch of times. Clean up as per usual, a little bit more this time because I used that stupid kitchen sponge, won't be doing that again. Uh, and then sesh feet over the top of that just to help blend the gradient a bit more. Next, using a dotting tool and two very, very, very light, almost marshmallowy coloured polishes from the China Glaze Giver Collection. Again, the details will be in the description box. I'm going to use a large dotting tool or a medium sized dotting tool to create the clouds. And they're just so easy to do, like literally a series of dots that interconnect. And that's all you need to do. You can do as many clouds on your nails as you can fit or, or that you would like. And that is basically this nail art. It's that easy. Super fabulous. Once all of your clouds are dry, you can seal it all in with a good quality top coat. I know my skin looks really, really dry. It's just because I had to use a lot of nail polish remover to get rid of all of that polish from the gradient. It's all right. I'm going to use some cuticle oil on that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. And thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.